of us go through our lives as gift consumers. That means we see people we love, singers and writers and actors and musicians and athletes, and we consume what we know is maximization of their gift. Yet many of us never sit down and say, you know what, what is my gift? What am I supposed to be bringing to the earth, to the world? And that's where the disconnect begins to happen in all of us. I began to say, you know what? This is my gift. And I'm gonna figure out how to maximize it, how to use it, how to uncover it, how to nurture it, and eventually how to bring to bear, bring to the world, bring to the universe, bring to other people who can consume it. I'm gonna do that. I was a 12 year old boy with a stutter and, and felt insecure and ugly. I couldn't see myself doing this. And so what I did was every day chip away at it. Every day get better at it. Every day do one more thing. That BTY you see on my wall, that ain't by accident. That's how I live. Every day I'm trying to be better than yesterday. There's a great quote that says, the, the river does not cut through the rock because of power and strength. The river cuts through the rock by persistence, by every day pushing by the rock. I'm here every day. I decided to stop running and embrace all of me, not just this, not just the abs, all of me, every part of me, the power and the vulnerability. Right, the strength and the fear. I tell my son all the time, I say, when you train hard and you practice right, you walk on the field different. You go on the court differently when you know you train for it. You go in the classroom differently when you know you study for the test, give me the test. You walk, it's a pride that you earn. It's a pride. And so I'm gonna use that same acronym to teach you guys the five elements of how you can take this opportunity and come out of it better. Not only better than you thought, but better than you even might have wished. P, the P is purpose, right? Every day you wake up in your life, have a purpose. R, responsibility. Be responsible for your stuff for your life, for your greatness. I don't need you to help me on my greatness. It's mine. What's the I? Identity. Who are you? What you stand for? Your identity, guys, carries you. Your identity goes with you. Good and bad. And no one's gonna care why you did it. Why you were the way you were. What's D, guys? Dream. You have to dream, guys. You have to dream about what you wanna be, right? Your dreams drive your thoughts every day. You dream about it, you think about it. Your thoughts drive your actions. If you think about it, you act upon it. And your actions determine where you're going. Last one, last one. E, you gotta expect greatness. I expect to be great. And you should expect to be great. Right, so that's pride. Right, pride. Purpose, responsibility, identity. You dream and then you expect. You ask yourself, who am I going to be after this? Right, who am I going to be after this? Because this is going to pass. Right, for all of us. Right, there will be a moment when this is gone. This moment's gone. Who will you be after that? From the same moment in time, from the same opportunity in time. 
question is, how many of those, how many of those kids who would then be men and women, how many of them would be from here? Right, they'll have pride, right? They, they will have earned the pride to walk around differently. Right, they will have earned the pride that you get from fighting adversity. Right, they'll have earned the pride of coming through stuff, the valley of life that we all go through. Many of them will have that pride that we all want. The question is, how many of them will be from this pride? From this group? From this school? From this community? From this family? From this team? It could be many. It could be many, it could be few. It could be many, it could be few. It could be them, or it could be you. The choice ultimately is up to you.